राजस्थानी दावा दाने ये सब कौन सा इसी से वो पैसे देते हैं डिमिनिश्ड कौन सा तो ये दसन दावा दाने की तो बहुत है इधर आपने कहा है इतना स्टाइल ये सब तो बहुत है इसने आपने कहा है उसको तो आप इस चीज में सो दैट्स दैट्स व्हाई वी नीड दैट्स वी डू नॉट समोन विल राइट दिस आर पॉइंट
this planet or voices. We don't allow us to shout. We don't allow us to even to express our own values, views and values and convictions. You better keep point. That's, that, that is expected of us. So, um, as uh, Prabhupada said, more and more that Kusma must come, he said, there are many people that have to do it uh, right and uh, uh, about this, uh, the recent uh, uh, development in caste discrimination and also the recent um, policies and uh, uh, laws and things that are going on in the legislative assembly are in our party. More and more it is threatening. That is, um, um, what to do? Then the man said, he's with everybody. He's there. And uh, so I'm happy and I'm happy also. Uh, uh, one by one. Uh, one way, I am happy uh, in my village. Uh, there are uh, so many young girls and boys. They are there. Uh, uh, they have went and uh, it, it was uh, actually uh, gave them some sort of awareness and uh, liberated spirit and binding tendency. It is there. That way I am happy uh, in rural places. And uh, when I go to uh, colleges and universities, uh, the rich students come and talk to me. And uh, uh, when they share the impact of Kalipur in their uh, life and in their education, uh, it is uh, promising, it, it, it gives me hope. So there is um, Completely, there is uh, there is no uh, there is no need to be focused in that way. Uh, uh, there is hope, but there are positive changes. And uh, even when uh, to come here and to talk about Dalit literature and the past discrimination itself is a big thing, because in older days you can't even talk this. You are not allowed. I mean, in America's when you can walk in the road in the so many restrictions, I think that is a lot. Comparatively now, so many changes have come. Uh, so no, no regrets. Uh, so I think it's a little bit of uh, disappointment. And uh, even today, people are killing, people are uh, facing a lot of violence and atrocities. Even girls experiencing uh, sexual exploitation and no safety. All these things are uh, really a big moderation for us. And if I write now, definitely uh, you can give it a different tone. Uh, because I have grown and uh, some, uh, 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 my perception and my attitude towards people, uh, it has widened. And I have read in other states, other non-profit uh, literature and media around people's and and I know the problem is not only uh, unique for me, uh, but our people. It is universal, I would say. For what? It may be race, color, caste, all over the world. You, have, you face the same discriminatory practices. And as in the Paraya Prabhada says, Ramosa Bhatsa, then she refused to see. So there are the glimpses of foundation people. Well, the system against the system, and they, uh, they, have, they, they write uh, and in mean, that light, uh, we get that hope, we are enlightened. And when those people have done this, we can. We can make changes, so many people in the history. So now it will be ultimate between two, and I will record on the positive impact of Karupu, and um, um, in what are the ways uh, we are able to uh, raise our voice and uh, uh, able to, as the uh, says now, the edges of that curve to, you know, cut through this system that oppresses us. And it had that, I will register all those things and uh, have a need to allow uh, more to grow and to liberate and to, uh, to have common uh, solidarity in life and their people and uh, people who are friends who don't be not be dummies, but they want to really uh, erase caste and they want to, to 
this person. They know it's really terrible. Uh, they, will, uh, they will respect and they will eradicate the intrusion and this traffic. I, I don't believe that because all these years I have seen, nobody has done that. Individuals have done that. Students have done that. The human has done that. Human has a lot of privilege with them. They immediately protest from this shop. I know something in the very sudden and it just big happens. They don't get quiet. So that's why it's doing that this this society is moving on. People there are people who do uh, just justice and people who, who want to, to, to be just and people who really uh, want to establish a uh, society where everybody is a person, not commodity. So if that people, we identify that as we don't want. So political powers are not unless we prove we we stand in the world through the mother. And uh, I don't have that uh, hope in mind because more and more they are crushing us. More and more they are crushing us and they hide things and they cut up lies they say. And uh, that's like that. Any, any small uh, Bird or the dog or the animals, it gives you to be killed and just to throw it. I think there is, there is no such, uh, what to say, uh, human, uh, human, human as a, uh, uh, um, I don't know how can they do that, we can't even imagine. But just like that, they do uh, 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 sexual exploitation and uh, starting from the top of the street and down the south. Give them one so this is a, uh, I don't think political power. They will crush you when you take four steps and then they will bring you back to the second step. So, uh, I was asking, is this the result of the recent policy that Psychological stress and strain. See, we take Dalit students, unlike other uh, non Dalit students in the schools or colleges or universities, uh, the non Dalit students are very secure, secure and safe and psychologically balanced comparatively to Dalit students, and they, are, they, they have uh, tranquility or what they say, they have a uh, mind center to explore, to learn, to move forward, to think, things like that. Whereas Dalit students, they have to face this discrimination. See, when I go to school, you will have to somebody will find out my caste. And if they find out what problem they take me. <coughs> and in, nowadays, even teachers are partial, teachers are treating <coughs> students according to the caste. So what kind of mindset or what kind of psychological uh, uh, psychological impact they have. They have to fight to be this, then they have to go to the paradise. This is really difficult, very painful. And uh, so that, that diminishes their personhood and diminishes their talent that they are not able to grow to their full personality. Whereas the other non very students don't have this problem. They, are, but they have this, uh, this kind of advantage to go forward with sound mind, sound body, and they are going to come to okay. Other than that, this uh, psychological side, you know, they have to resist all these things and grow. That is there. So their, their progress, their uh, uh, success, their achievement, they will be this uh, uh, small class of this one class. So, uh, I'm sorry, I have to say. So, same way, writers. Even for writers, uh, there are people that are so called mainstream writers. So, they, they, they claim themselves to be in the mainstream. And they, they expect us to uh, achieve, to 
to keep them as role model and uh, to come up that standard of mainstream practice. That, I mean, the first time that they think that. Whereas we don't want that. I mean, who are they to dictate us? So we can't follow their own framework to write. We have our own talents or we have our own experiences and we will write. You know, they expect us to follow your own norms and rules, to follow your thing. So that is the problem. So they are mainstream writers and they, I mean, if we did the name is a valid literature. They term is a valid literature, okay? And if somebody said that the valid literature is that it cannot be written by others, then similar students must be spread in the literature. That. that is the huge way of partying. Right? So in valid literature, Anybody can write, but at the same time there is a difference. When you write with the personal experience, that, that emotional and the feeling level and, and the, the present breadth of the story is different from your second knowledge of the event. When you express that you feel it, you can write also, you can write better than me also. Expressing your own talent, getting pain, and anxiety, and things like that. But still, uh, I don't uh, accept that that is writing and not that is writing is that we get the same that is very simple. So we have that problem even today. Though I am a well known writer now and everybody is a little bit distant, but still I am a valid writer. And they consider my, my work as valid literature. And uh, uh, so much to say, even so far writers, progressive writers, they, they, they themselves say, they segregate. This is that, that is that, that way they are segregating literature and writing. <coughs> so by doing so, they, they, they claim that they are superior to us. <coughs> we do not uh, accept that. We know our own view of writing and we write. It is not that we are like the past now. Uh, we can stand on our own as it's not the And uh, there is no need, I mean, if you want to write, but don't damage your own uh, self or the person who can do it. You don't do that. We don't want to go to it. That is the thing. So for the students and the writers, we have the psychological block. But whereas we consciously need to break that <coughs> and go over. We do that. That is another additional stress and strain and work for us. We need to do that. But only when we are doing that we are better to stay there. We need to break this. Break this and do it. That is the structure to um, fearlessness. No? Since I am a Dalit, you can't claim it. You can't do anything as you like as you do. The ancestors. That came down for understanding. And uh, once they will take this lap as they receive it, not be looking back. Unnecessarily, if you do slap me, then I will give you one and two. They know their place and they know what things. So it is not a matter of killing or beating or fighting. See, I consider it as a person, you do consider it as a person, simple as it is. Only you consider me as less human being, okay? Then I begin to talk to you, or the beauty of whatever we work on, sometimes writing, sometimes. Uh, fighting. There's so many ways to protect my own self you know. That is Madam, I have a question for you. Ma'am, like Father Mark, has there been anyone else outside your community from the state so called abroad class? With whom you had a memorable experience and which you can have a thought of using that experience uh, as uh, 
you know, as to present our short stories or something like that, which will also sensitize the young adult community of like, like Father Mark, who has been very supportive to you and yeah. has inspired you to write this novel. Similarly, has, have you had any such supportive experience from the so-called upper class community? Who's that, uh, that experience which you want to record in your short story or novel, which will sensitize the young adult world? <coughs> See, that way, my... See, I just now remember one story. Uh, it's not sensitizing, it's not...
who are uh, the initiator will speak ruthless language. They will use this kind of words. And you cannot expect from them to use, uh, 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 I mean, for use decent, for you, decent uh, language from them. What is decent for you is indecent for us. And what is for you think, uh, indecent, what we are using is indecent, you think whatever we use is indecent. But for us, the way you are treating us, the way you are using, the words you are exploiting us, you are a decent person, not me. So, this kind of experience only I have from, from our past people. This is one example. And there is another story, Anaji. Just because he called to the land owner Anaji, he was penalized. So, like that, I, can, I can give you a lot of stories like that. All this stuff, I mean, uh, they expect Dalit people to be designed, to be vulnerable, to be obedient, not to raise their voice. Whatever they, they are asked, they do and go silently. But whatever these people do, probably when they are, they, they have a, every right to use this. That's how the, the belief system is there. It is, it is built in their mind. So this kind of things only I don't know. I, I mean, uh, I know, I know, uh, when friends, a lot of other friends I have, and, uh, but nobody has supported you. No, I have. Nobody who has supported you. Mark, Mark is a non delay. So, my question is how did you manage to write that as a text, as a short story, all a part of a novel, so that the younger generation will understand that there can be a kind of uh, affinity between these two communities, at least by that way you can resolve uh, yes. yes, certain things are not done, not many. Because yes. We have plenty of things we are doing in our, in our life, in our life, what people are going through. So uh, I am concentrating on them. And people have asked this kind of question also. Why don't you write about non-dalits also? And uh, are they not supporting you? And uh, people are not writing their business. It is none of my business to write their story. So, uh, I'm going to 
urban side, it is the it is not easy to find out the caste, but what they do is uh, whether vegetarian or non vegetarian. And, and it, is, it is not that they, they don't see caste and practice caste. They have their own technical methodology to find out uh, who, uh, which caste belongs to and to rent the house and to be in their, to be invited there. Because we get to learn with the normal set of people from different places to the people who live there, who are not the people who are south of the city there. But they are very, very particular in a very subtle way. They wind up and they are only wanting to wear more cast. It is not only rural, but urban here, even when we go abroad. In which the unity of red in the states, in the city, uh, something like that. No one's a woman, a good professor, uh, the other uh, uh, so called uh, upper class people, persons, they, they deny this uh, promotion to the Islam class and find the case. Uh, that particular guy, the professor, like, uh, the one kind of somebody. Same way in, in France, uh, when I left the uh, ISM Africa, French people. People from here going there. In the big area, to the original language, they carry this caste also. But I tell you, when I, when I went to these French people, I mean, people from Paris anyway, they invited me. There are so many people. They changed the French for that <laughs> And then she, she asked me about the Dalit literature, and I began to explain. I, I began like this I am a Dalit woman, I said. And I, how I began to write. And one particular woman stood up and said, You don't talk about your Dalit, you only talk about your literature, she said. I said, My literature is from my one who is there, the Dalit person. So I have to start from here only. And I told her, No, 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 we don't want to listen to your Dalit speak for you. And she said, Say the little bit of Tama, you know, Tama, you can say, Say, and she said, Lotus is coming from mud. You don't talk about the mud only about the lotus you speak. I mean, my direct literature is lotus, I am a mud. So that's what she said. When I, I was so angry, I got up. And there was one Gujarati writer, yesterday, she was with me. And this lady was talking to me in Tamil, and she, she doesn't know. So I got up and previously scolded her. And uh, I don't want to speak to you. After coming from Bhutjali and France, and <coughs> we are carrying all the way this last and we are talking such a nonsense with the history. I don't want to talk and I walk out. And this, this particular writer, what happened now? And then I said, oh, is it so? I told her what the people came out. So this, this is how people from here, when they go there, they practice caste. So caste is carried everywhere. All over the world. The term that is understood uh, only when it is under the territory of Hinduism. Hinduism practices Kashism and all. But in your autodidact, you have coined the term Christian Dalit. You have explained yourself as a Christian Dalit woman. So, how do we understand this as a Christian Dalit? Dalit in terms of Christianity and Christian Dalit is so How do we understand it outside of Hinduism? See, Christianity. At least in Christianity, theoretically, uh, you say there is no discrimination. In the Bible, there is no caste person where Jesus says love one another as a young as you are as a brother. Almost, uh, in all the religion talks about it, loving people, and there is no such discriminating people. And uh, in, in Jesus' state, there were uh, uh, discriminations based on the, the, the Pharisees and the Samaritans, the Samaritans and the people, group of people like. But he deliberately mingled with that kind of people and break all the Samaritans, showing all our human beings. We be good, we need to be So we don't discriminate people, whether they are Jews or you know, whether they are Samaritans, whether they are people, whether they are Pharisees, that we don't need to be the right kind of people. And he said, all of it, 
the real degree is there. But in practice, it is not so. Because, as I said, these people who carry caste money abroad, people who practice themselves are that what helps us as Christians when they come to this religion, they bring the caste system also. And they practice that. And in the olden days, it was so horrible that it was the churches and the places and everything is that way. He was never to be common or the author, but he wanted to be the space in the world. And so here the church was closed and a lot of things like that. Now, people protested against it. But still, these nuns government like this past. And in schools, teachers like this past. There is no such place where there is past.
Remember, we'll just go ahead and uh, let him uh, join. You can also take Karu. Uh, Karu is an embryo. Karu is an embryo. So you can consider that text is an embryo of suffering. Okay. So, and then uh, you can treat the word, Tamil word Karu as an embryo. So that is what uh, Christ did in the Positivism is changing, uh, and as a writer, uh, I become an embryo uh, to execute the subject.